joined by Minnesota head coach Hugh McCutcheon and student athlete Sarah Wilhite, Alexis Hart, and Paige Tab. Coach, can we start with thoughts on tonight? Uh, congratulations to Stanford. I thought they played a, a very good match. And obviously we're disappointed not to uh, continue in the tournament. Um, but uh, as much as, uh, you know, it stings in the short term, uh, when you uh, view the body of work, uh, lots to be proud of, and um, especially with this group, very proud of our, our season, and uh, you know we uh, we have our, our heads high, uh, even though we didn't get to finish it the way we wanted to finish it. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for the student athletes. Middle right. Don Patterson, Volleyball USA. Sarah, can you, you talk a little bit about Stanford's block? That's the obvious question, but it, it's tough to get the ball through on them, and they obviously did a pretty good job tonight in, in neutralizing what you guys do best. Yeah, Stanford's a great blocking team. Uh, they played great out there. They played hard. I just think as hitters, we really had to mix up our offense and our shots to kind of combat the tall block, but um, kudos to them. They played well. and. They're definitely a tough team to hit against. Rachel Blount, Minneapolis Star Tribune. Paige, it was an uncharacteristically quiet match for both you and Hannah. What, were, what was Stanford doing against the two of you that, that kind of took you out of your game? Yeah, I think we both just needed to have more patience on offense. Uh, they were taking away our favorite shots, and we didn't switch it up as quickly as we would have liked. Kellen here on our left. Uh, Kellen Bico's Columbus Dispatch for Sarah. Uh, you guys obviously rallied back in the third set. Just what did you guys talk about in between points that really kept you guys going? I think in between points we were just taking deep breaths and calming ourselves down and then switching gears from the last point, learning our lesson or celebrating and then moving on to the next. And I just think that we never lost belief throughout the game. We fought back and um, Stanford's a great competitor and I just think that we approached it point to point, especially in that third set and also in the fourth too, I thought we fought, fought hard. Minnesota Daily, um, Sarah, Paige, you two have had illustrious careers here at Minnesota. How would you evaluate the last four years uh, for yourselves? Yeah, I think we're lucky to have finished it in the Final Four. Um, we've had a great time in this program, and we've seen it evolve. And we, we're very lucky for the four years that we've had here and how we've just grown as players. Yeah, it's been a privilege um, to play under the coaching staff, to play with the teammates that we have. and. Um, it hurts finishing this way, but we did have a great season, and I'm proud of our team. And um, just throughout the four years, we always were fighting, and we were always connected and unified. And I think that's something to be proud of. Jacob, Sarah, and Alexis, in, in the first set there at the end, you two had an incredible battle with the Jonaku there late, trying to finish off the set. Just even though you guys lost that set, going to extra points, just. Talk about what you guys were feeling after that set, if you're confident, like you were finding some holes, and maybe what changed there in the second set. I just think the first set, um, we had some success on the pin, and we did have confidence going into the second, but they made good adjustments on us, and um, they blocked well, and I just think that throughout the whole match, they, it was tough. It was hard to hit against them, and um, sometimes we were swinging not super patient on offense, and we were swinging for points, but not the smartest swings. And so I just think learning from that and growing, looking forward. Yeah, going off what um, Sarah said, kind of just being patient. Um, it was a big block, and they're a great team. So I think it's um, just waiting and hitting high instead of hitting into the block. For, uh, for you, you're in a different situation than some of your other teammates. You've got three more years here at the University of Minnesota. How do you feel about the future of your team for the next three years? Um, you know, sadly, um, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, and the seniors are amazing, and I appreciate everything they have done, you know, with Sarah giving me advice. Um, I don't know, just taking, you know, each game one at a time and, you know, just playing go for volleyball. <clears throat> and 
That leads me into my question. Sarah, you guys had talked earlier this week about how you didn't have to play special Final Four volleyball. You just had to play gopher volleyball. Did you feel like you guys did that tonight, or, or, or did the moment get a little large on you again? There were moments where our energy was a little off, but I think overall we fought back, and I think it was just two good teams going to battle. And I'm just proud of the way we played, even though we came up short. Um, we never lost belief, and I think it was a lot different than last year. And we'll just continue to, or the team looking forward, will just continue to grow and learn from this experience. Any more for the student athletes? All right, one more in front. It was such a, a tense and thrilling match to watch. Uh, Paige, was it a particularly exhausting match, both physically and mentally? There were a lot of long rallies, and they're a physical team, so I, they did test us that way, but I don't say it was particularly more exhausting than the Wisconsin, Nebraska, and the other um, tournament matches we've played. Ladies, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take questions for Coach McCutcheon at this time. Start here in the middle right. Hugh, can you talk a little bit about Stanford's freshman class? I mean, that's, that's a pretty unusual and maybe almost unprecedented group of freshmen, it seems like. Yeah, pretty special group. I'd agree. Elaborate a little bit on uh, you know, they're, they're all good volleyball players. Um, you know, the, it's, it's uh, as good a recruiting class as you could hope for, no question. Going to front right. Hugh, how much of an advantage was, was their height advantage for them, and were there other things you could have done to, to mitigate that? Uh, it's one of those things, Rachel, where I think you can – talk about the fact that the block's going to be sizable, but we, you know, we saw them in August and um, you know, it, it had been a while. So uh, there's nothing, there's no other team really like that. Uh, so as much as you can talk about, hey, you need to hit some different shots and do some different things, um, it sure seemed like it took us a, you know, a while to adjust to that. That being said, I thought you know, Stanford was in good spots. Obviously, they'd done their, their homework and uh, they played a great match. Um, Hugh, what has your senior class kind of meant to you for this, this year? I mean, they brought you to two Final Fours now, and what has they meant for your program? Well, um, it's hard to say, uh, you know, in, in summary, but uh, I think there's a, a number of things they bought. Uh, one was uh, a lot of trust, you know, that they committed to, um, to a process that, that um, initially had no kind of cause and effect to it. Um, and, it, and it involved a lot of work and, and uh, a lot of effort. Um, but they took that leap of faith, and uh, obviously they got a you know, good return on that investment. But uh, I'm just so proud that they, they were able to kind of follow that path and, and commit so completely to what we were trying to achieve as a program. And uh, so I'll look back on this group uh, very fondly, and, and um, they will uh, represent the foundation of, of what we're trying to achieve. And, and to this point, they've kind of set the standard of, of what it is to, to play go for volleyball. Middle left there. Chris, you from the Pioneer Press. One thing I don't remember so much from the first match with Stanford was, uh, I remember the block. I don't remember them digging as well as they did today. Can yeah. you talk about the sort of two-headed monster of that sort of on defense, both the block and the digs? Well, yeah, the, I thought we hit a, some good shots and they were able to defend them well in the backcourt. And uh, you know, now we're forcing us into some other things that um, we, some shots that we don't usually have to hit. And I think that, that, that's the thing you're describing is their, their backcourt was very clean. I thought they really did a nice job um, very scrappy, very disciplined. Uh, the first match was pretty choppy for everyone. Remember, it was the second match of the season for both teams, so I don't think either of us would say it was one to remember. That being said, uh, tonight there was a lot of good volleyball, and uh, you know it's it's always a game of inches at this point. And uh, as much as you know, we wanted to win a couple more points or hit another ball in bounds or get another stuff that was out by an inch or whatever, we just. We weren't able to turn the plays when we needed to, and um, 
you know, I think there's some lessons there for us, and we'll, we'll get those and continue to weave that into the fabric of what we're trying to achieve here as a program. The front right. How did you feel your team managed the moment in the semifinal this year compared to last year? Did you see some growth in your group? No question. I thought the energy uh, a year ago was different than the energy tonight. Um, again, I, you know, I, I think everyone would say, hey, it would have been nice to make a few more plays. No question. But um, as Sarah said in, in, in her statement, I, I don't think there was a point where you know, the team was out of control. Um, we, we had to shift uh, some things in terms of energy and execution, but th it seemed like they were out there competing pretty well for most of it. Yeah. Any more for Coach? Back left. Kyle Walton, the Net Live. Coach, when you first got to Minnesota and saw Sarah, um, did you think she would be able to take 70 swings in the final four and get 25 kills? No. No. I, I didn't know what she was going to do, but uh, there was no, uh, I wasn't thinking, geez, here's the kid that's going to, that's going to lead us because uh, I think that's a, it's a dangerous place to operate. I, I'm not one to go in with uh, preconceived uh, conceptions about or perceptions about a, an athlete. Uh, really, it's, it's about dealing who they are right there. And then as they continue along the process, then you get to expand what they may be capable of. Certainly at the beginning of this year, no question, I felt she had the capability to do that. But um, you know, if you'd asked me that four years ago, uh, I don't think so. Hugh, did, did you? No, we're good. Yeah, yeah did, sorry. Did you feel like one or two more plays in that fourth game, right at that point, maybe about 19, 17? I think Plummer made a big block on that slide to, to Page, and that was a pretty big point. But you, were you pretty confident that hey, you get to five, and then we're we're looking pretty good? Yeah, I always thought that. Uh, I think in these matches, there's a point where it gets big, right? And. Uh, you know, I thought we were in it, we were in it, we were in it, and, and really probably not until the last play or two that all of a sudden uh, our athletes became aware of their mortality. Um, it seemed that, uh, you know, that play, yeah, nice stuff, but it seemed like we got on with the next point pretty well. I called a timeout just because uh, I thought more about Stanford's momentum than I thought about our, um, you know, lack of it. Um, but uh, I always like our chances. You know, if, if we, can, we can score and, and clearly Stanford was feeling the heat too, you know, it's not like it was an offensive battle out there, it was way more about defense. Both teams had a pretty high number of E's and B's. Um, so, you know, I think if we could have made them play, if we could, you know, like I said, a game, a game of inches, a point here, a point there, things might have been different, but um, yeah, end of the day, it was what it was. They made some plays down the stretch and uh, we weren't able to match it. Follow up. Got this? Yeah. Just to follow up, it seems like there was one play there where Hintz made about three digs in a row, on, and one of them went off her, you know, her shoulder or something like that. Yep. But you guys hung in there and, and made some plays too. It was yeah. just it, you feel like you were competing pretty pretty well at that point. No question. I mean, we got some uh, down the end of the, the end of that fourth set. We made some great stuffs that they covered. You know, balls that were going straight down. They stuck out an arm and popped up, and good for them. Um, but as they say, right, in this job, you got to be good, you got to be lucky, and you got to stay healthy. And uh, I'm not saying it was luck for Stanford, um, but, you know, it's just you know, a play here and a play there. Things might have been different, especially when you get to this point in the season and we're talking about do sets. But in no way does that, uh, I think, detract from the fact that they played a, a good match. You know, you got to give the credit to them. It wasn't like they lucked out or that we didn't have it going our way. I thought. You know, to me, it was more about execution than it was anything else. All right, Coach, thank you. Thanks, everybody.